name is Penny and this is Penny's Art Emporium and today I would like to do one of my favourite things. I love to do the seascapes. So I have got this 40 centimetre square deep edge canvas today because I love the way that the paint goes over the sides um, and I'm going to do a cup pour and I'm going to do seven cups today. The last time I did a seascape on this size canvas, I used six cups and I felt it wasn't quite enough. So I've picked out some really nice colours. I've got lots of deco art, metallic colours. Um, I have got the pearl. I have got sterling silver, 24 karat gold. I have got champagne gold, sapphire, deep sapphire, blue topaz, um, rose gold, that's all the deco art metallic ones. I've got paleo uh, blue green. I have got Arteza, this is a new one of mine, this is pearl sky blue. I have got um, silver, which is also in the deco art. I've got this Artiste one that I have used before, Pearl Frosted Mint, and that's quite nice. And then I mix two together. This one is um, um, Artiste Rose Pink and also a Montmartre Raw Sienna because that makes quite a nice sort of sandy colour. So with my cups, I'm going to do two for the sky. I'm going to do one which has quite a bit of white in it and one that has more blue. I might even add a touch of gold to the sky. Then I want three cups for the sea, um, which will be a darker one at the top with the deep sapphire, the sapphire, um, the sky blue, um, a bit of silver maybe. And then a medium one, which will have turquoise, sky blue, a bit of blue topaz. And then another layer, which will be much lighter, with some white, blue topaz, a little bit of this frosted mint, a little bit of gold. Uh, and then I'll do two for the sand. I want a darker sand colour. Um, and then right at the edge of the painting, I will do a lighter sand colour. So it will be a bit like when the sand is wet near the water and then when it shimmers, when it's away from the water. So it's, it's quite a complicated one, I think, but I think it should be quite good. Um, so I did one, it was number 53 in my videos before, and I added some green at the bottom. I'm not going to add green this time. And I'm going to make my C a lot smaller um, so that it has more perspective to it as well. So I will mix up these into cups uh, and I'm going to pour them on. And I don't want to be moving it about too much because I quite like it the way that it pours onto the canvas. So I will get mixing all these into cups uh, and we will get putting it onto the canvas. Well, I've mixed up all these paints ready. Um, as I said before, we've got seven cups. I didn't mix them in front of you, simply because it's not very much fun to watch. <laughs> so uh, I put my spirit level on because that's quite important for when it's drying. Um, if it's lopsided, it will distort the painting. So my uh, cups that I have got, this one is going to be the top layer of the lighter sky. This one's going to be the top layer of the darker sky. Then I have got the C, which is this one, which is dark. This one, which is medium. And then this one, which is um, much lighter, kind of sand and sea. And then this is 
the darker sand and this one is the lighter sand. So I will get these on and uh, we will go from there. So I'm going to start by just pouring on, just quite gently. I'm not going to rush it today. And I'm going to go relatively close to all the edges. will expand anyway. So that is the lighter sky. It's got a little bit of gold in there. Which is nice. And then this one is the darker sky, which again I'm just going to not rush too much. difficult because you want it to flow but if you rush it too much so that has got that and that looks really nice um, I do want quite a lot of sky but I don't want to move it down too much Just see if I can get just another layer out of this cup. Because I, I didn't want my, my C to be too high up today. I wanted my C to be a more thinner section in the middle. So that's looking nice. Move these cups out of the way. <laughs> so yes, that's looking nice so far. And then this one is my darker C. So I'm hoping that this should be a bit of a contrast. Okay, I can always straighten it out a little bit. So I want my line at the top to be quite straight. And then this is the medium coloured C. I was worried that I wouldn't have enough paint, but I think it's going to be alright. And then this cup is a shoreline cup. So this is much lighter and also has some sandy colours in it because it's supposed to be where the sea is rolling onto the shore. So I did make this one much lighter and just varied the colours. this white that's dribbling out just along this edge because I think that that will break up that middle bit a little bit and make it look a little bit like a wave. And now I have got two more cups that are for the sand. And I must admit <laughs> I wasn't sure which was which. I think this one is the darker one. I 
and I will also be putting a little bit of white down um, with some silicone in it which will make some little frothy crashing waves. light colour back over again as well. I put white at the bottom of all the cups so that last little bit does tend to be white. So then this one I'm pretty sure <laughs> is the lighter colour sand but like I say I did actually forget which was which. So this one should have more gold and white. It's looking very similar actually, but I don't think it made much difference. Yeah, I can definitely see some white in there. There, that's got all those colours on and they are looking lovely. So what my aim is, is to move them back and forwards a little bit. Um, but I don't want to distort the lines too much. Which is always a little bit of a challenge because of course I do want it to go over the edge that little bit as well. Um, I think what I will do with that top is I will just put some plain white down and that will just help it to go over the edge a little bit. Because with the deep edge canvases as well, they can be a little bit difficult. <laughs> to uh, get the edges covered. So yeah, I'm just going to go over the edge just with the white where the sky is before I tilt it. But those colours do look really nice and very happy with those. took a lot of thought to plan out my colours and to plan out the way I wanted it to look. So I'm going to try tilting it. We'll see how that goes. I'm hoping that these edges will go over a little bit. And I'm just going to do it very gently. Maybe I should put you on high collapse while I do that. It's going to take some time and uh, it's not very interesting to watch. Really. So I'll put you on high collapse and then you'll be able to see that being tilted.
absolutely lovely. I'm very happy with it. I love all those different colours. And by using those seven different cups, it's created layers of colour, which I'm hoping create perspective a little bit. So this is the sand area. And uh, the last little bit you saw me do with my palette knife was to add some silicone and some white just to make that frothy kind of edge from where the sea would meet the sand. And that's the lighter colour um, cup with the sand and the sea together in it. And you've got this middle section, which is the sapphire and turquoise, um, the sea sky blue, a little bit of deep sapphire. And the top section is the deep sapphire, which is the darker colour with all the other blues. And it has got that little bit of gold in it as well, which I do really like. I think that just adds something. I always like the gold. <laughs> I know it's the sea, but I thought the gold would be quite nice. Um, and then for the sky, uh, it does create quite a nice horizon there, having that line between the dark, deep sapphire and actually that last little bit of white that I poured over from the end of the cup. So you do get a nice horizon line. And then the darker clouds are at the bottom and then quite a big section of the lighter coloured clouds. I wanted a lot of sky in this. They are beautiful paints. Um, I don't think the uh, focus is that good, but the blue topaz is lovely, as always. I love the blue topaz. It's always nice and shiny when it is dry. And then, if I can show you these beautiful edges, which is what I like with these deep edge canvases. I love the fact that all those lovely colours go over the edge. And that is the white, which is looking pretty good there. I'm happy with that edge. It's actually nearly dry already. Um, and then you can just see all those swirls for the clouds. And then this edge as well. And just because I put the cups on in lines, it just gives a really nice effect rather than the kind of bubbly effect you'd get if you had the flip cup kind of technique. I like the lines. I like to see all those different colours all blending together with each other. I just really like that. So there it is. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, put any questions in the comments and I'll answer them if I haven't answered anything very thoroughly. And I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.